guys, it's Shannon. And Paul. So normally you don't see us or me or either of us on camera, but we have this giant box today that just works out better being opened on camera. So that's what we're doing. Paul is actually behind the camera today being our cameraman. So you won't see him, but you'll hear him. He'll put in his two cents. <laughs> All right, so today we have this really awesome surprise present from Kid Robot. Now you guys know we love Kid Robot figures. We've been opening their stuff for years. And what's really cool is they now have this Naughty or Nice box. So the Kid Robot Christmas Elves stole Santa's Naughty or Nice list and they've been sending out packages based on if you were naughty or nice. So I wonder if we're gonna have, you know, did we get a naughty one or a nice one? They didn't really tell us. Hmm. Paul might be naughty, I might be on the nice list. Mm. Or maybe it's backwards. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. These boxes are available on kidrobot.com and they contain up to or more than $250 worth of merchandise. And what's cool about it is you could get um, things that aren't available anymore. Like they cleared out the warehouse and there's just all kinds of goodies in here. So I think we should just go ahead and get started, open it up and see what we have. We have not peeked inside, so I don't have any idea. Okay, we have packing paper, more packing paper. Oh, yeah. Yes, we will reuse that. Okay, oh my goodness, there is all kinds of stuff in here. Um, I see something big. Yeah, I guess I'll just pull things out one at a time and you won't know what's in here until I pull it out. What do you say? Sounds good. Uh, let's start with this. Check it out. So we have a zero plush. I'm gonna open this up. Oh. So here is zero from Nightmare Before Christmas. He's awesome. This is actually like a fabric, like a, a cotton, a cloth kind of plush. It's not like a, a soft, fuzzy plush. Um, look at how cool what? it is. I love his little pumpkin nose. Is it a puppet? It's not a puppet, is it? I don't think so. Well, you could put your hand in there. Yeah. Yeah. You could put your hand in there. Oh, that's cool. I think it actually, hold on. This might be a long video. Uh, let's see, battery information. Yeah, there's a little thing inside of there, so he's either gonna glow or make noise. Let's see. Let's see. I think I have to open the battery compartment and turn it on. Probably. His nose might glow. Yeah, that would not make sense. with all our lights. No. But... Okay, let's see. I didn't plan ahead. I don't know if you guys can see me. I'm moving trash. I have a jigsaw puzzle over there on the <laughs> table, which hopefully I don't lose any pieces. Okay, next up, oh, this is awesome. So we oh. have, I'm not gonna know how to pronounce this. Frida Calls? Yeah. Frida Call? Sure, so we'll go with. So, no, Kahlo. Kahlo? Kahlo? It's K-A-H-L-O. Frida Kahlo, Kahlo, was a Mexican artist best known for her uncompromising and beautiful use of color in a style influenced by indigenous Mexican cultures and native folk art. She painted her reality about life and death and many of her works are self-portraits. So pretty cool. Um, well, we're probably gonna go ahead and take this and maybe a couple other things downstairs and kind of open in our normal studio so you can see a better close up of them. Okay, next up. Oh yes, I was hoping we would get this. This is the 12 Dunny Days of Christmas. <laughs> They're little mini dunnies. And you guys know we have opened a ton of dunnies. Um, these are really cute. I love these. We're definitely gonna take these downstairs because you're not gonna be able to see how awesome these are um, this far away. Okay, you ready for another plushie? I'm ready. Are you? It's a scary plushie! <laughs> oh, Pennywise! So we have a Pennywise. It looks like this is going to be a crossbody like bag, uh, but it's plush. So we have a strap here. I'm not going to undo the strap right now, but check that out. So this is in the Funny collection, and it's called a Funny Pack. Move that over just a little bit more. Oh, okay. Back, this way, back. This way. Center it on yourself and put it over your face. Oh, that's pretty good. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching you. <laughs> All right, that is really awesome. So it has a little zipper. Doo, doo, doo. Oh, they bamboozled me. The zipper, it has a little plastic attacher holding it shut. Oh, okay. So I can't open it right now. But it has a little zipper so you can carry your fun stuff with you. Okay, there's a 
lot of stuff in here. Okay, I'm not in this one. Or hold this one up next. Oh, you guys. <laughs> Paul's going to crack up when he sees this. Ta-da! <laughs> we have a SpongeBob SquarePants Patrick, and it says it's a see-through Patrick. Cool. Art figure. He is so glittery and sparkly. Oh, wow. I don't know. Hopefully you guys can see that well. He's awesome. Oh, I love him. We'll show him a little bit more up close. He's downstairs. really cute. Okay, that is a huge figure. Okay, another plushie. Ta da! So, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. That's Clark. Clark Griswold. Yep. They have really cool plush. They do, yeah. Kid Robot probably makes the best plush. Um, I love all the different characters and everything. So, here's Clark. Yeah. I don't remember him ever dressed as Santa in the movie. Um, I don't know. Maybe like in a sequel or a, a short or something? I don't know. So he has a little Santa mustache and beard you can put up too. <laughs> and then he's like, ah! Yep. One of the all time classic Christmas movies. Okay. Uh, let's see. We have that. Okay. Another plush. Are you ready? Ready. Check out this. Oh, wow. Okay. I think this is a bowl of matzo ball soup. I'm gonna find out for sure. That's <laughs> what I think it is. Come on out, dude. I love the Yummy World big plushies. Yes, they're cool. Okay, let's see. Does it say, yikes. It doesn't say, but this has to be matzo ball soup. I think so. So, if you guys can tell, I mean, this is giant. It's bigger than my head. That's a big plush. It has the Yummy World embroidered on the back. It has our cool little soup with, we have um, like celery and different herbs in here. And three matzo balls. <laughs> Do they come out? Yes. Oh, they're, they're attached in with little plastic attachers. That's only like the first time just to keep them in there. We can take those. Let's see. I'm just going to pop one. Ouch. I'm not gonna, there we go. They have Velcro on the bottom, so ah. after you take the plastic attachers off, you can Velcro them in, in and out. But look at each little matzo ball. Ah. That's so cute. I've had matzo ball soup. It's actually very delicious. So, cute. Okay, here's one, uh, one thing left. Are you ready? I'm ready. There's more bubbles for you. There's a, a whole bunch of bubbles. More bubbles, free packing material. <laughs> okay. Our last thing. Wow. Oh, okay, wow. this is awesome. This is one of the Masterpiece Dummy collections from the Met. So you're going to have to say the artist. Piet Mondrian? Mondri Mondrian? I don't know. Yeah, so this is completely sealed. We can't see the figure, so we are going to take this down to the studio and open it with you guys. I'm excited about this because the last time we were in New York, we actually got to go to the Met, and it was awesome. So I can't wait to see this dunny. So let's go ahead and open those things now. Okay, so we're in the studio. We can show you a little bit better close-up of some of these items. Yep, here is the <laughs> see-through Patrick. <laughs> he's so cool. He is awesome. Okay, so he's like plastic coated, and then looks like he's like squishy on the inside with his little pink Patrick polka dot itself. Yeah, that's awesome. That is awesome, except you can't see through his swim shorts. Nope. Because that would be weird. <laughs> There's the back of the box. So cute. <laughs> that is really cute. All right. And then we have the Frida Kahlo figure. I think that's so cool looking. That is, I love this box. I like this. Yeah, it's pretty. That's beautiful. That either looks like Hen of the Woods mushrooms or flowers. Probably Maybe flowers. Coral. There's the back. The box. And Dunny 5 inch. Nice. Or Dunny 5, which is like Roaring 5, but different. <laughs> totally different. All right, I'm going to show this one now. This is the, uh, the Met. Figure. So this comes shrink wrapped. I don't know if this color palette like gives you a hint as far as which one of these you can get. Because I feel like there was four or five different figures that you could order. And when you order these, they're not blind box. Like you know what you're getting. Yes. Because they have like the wave. Um, uh, what else? I forget. Really cool though. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, wow. 
Okay. Yeah, I feel like we took pictures. We did. That art. Yeah. So on view at the Met Fifth Avenue in Gallery 912 and Piet Mondrian, Jacques and Natasha Gellman collection, 1998. So, so is that like an eight inch? Yeah, that's yes. an eight inch Nanny. So just for you guys to know, like based on <laughs> our studio lights are reflecting. Yeah, there. let me see if um, I can get this out. Based on like what you would get in a package or something, that is a $150 limited edition figure right Whoa. there. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Isn't that neat? We should, like, insert a picture of you with the different photos. I wonder if I have it. If I do, I'll put it up. Are you going to take it all the way out or just No, I'm just like going to keep... No, that's no. cool. Oh, that's I'll take it. fine. Here we go. Oh, it comes out really easy. Coming out now. Ooh, dunny on display. Oh, that is awesome. That is a big dunny. That's that the largest a... dunny we've ever found. It is. Oh, that was so cool. Sherwin Williams, match up the colors. Yeah, <laughs> you could ask him, "What's this color? What's this color's name?" Yeah, I'd say that's tomato red. This is cornflower blue. Yeah. And I don't know what other color. Yeah. I think he should stay there as we open the rest of the. Yeah, just moving our little mascot. Okay, so the last thing we wanted to kind of share in more detail with you guys is the twelve Dunny Days of Christmas. <laughs> These are so cute. The only thing that I would have liked better is if they were blind bag, just because Paul and I like blind bags yeah. so much. But we have to open these with you guys. And I see the one, let's see, let me just pop this out. I see the one I want to open up first. Okay. Or show you first. Let's see. Come on. Okay. There's a little plastic thing on the top. I'm getting this. Oh, how am I going to get this one out? Okay. <laughs> Look at the little Yeti. Huh? Isn't he cute? He's adorable. Yes. Little Yeti dude. He's late blue. He has a little frowny face. I like his little teeth. <laughs> He's going to hang out with his other dummy friend. <laughs> All right, I'll show you this one. This is a pink present. Love that, like, magenta pink with the gold or yellow ribbon around it and a big bow. Okay. The next one I've picked is this black dunny that is wrapped in this red and white string, like a present, and it has a little sign, a little tag that says, be nice from Santa. Yep. So that actually goes perfect with the naughty or nice box. It does, it's a lump of coal. Yes, Santa's telling us to be nice. <laughs> Whoops. All right, this is a peppermint dunny. Mm -hmm. Those little peppermint stripes going around it, like its ears, little peppermint stripes, and its ears are different, like, sides, because everything else is going from bottom to top, left to right. This year's different. And the two little peppermint rounds for the eyes. Cute. Now we're really off center, just so you know, you keep oh. people that way. But. Well. <laughs> All right, next up, I saved Paul. I took the reindeer. Thank you. Which is different than just a regular deer. A reindeer is special. Yeah. This is Rudolph. Rudolph has a little green bow. I like the little deer spots on the back. Very cute little Rudolph. I have <laughs> just a snowman head. So this is not a broken figure or anything. This is exactly how it comes. Yep. You get just a little snowman head, like the little carrot nose. That's an angry snowman. <laughs> okay, and then I am going to open up a present, too. I have a yellow present with a black ribbon around it. That's actually a really cool, like, very unique color combo for a present. It is. It's I like that. Cool. Yeah. Like a bumblebee. All right, next up, I have an elf. A grumpy elf. So it has a little green costume on with the blue hair, and this elf comes with an elf cap oh, cute. with even a little fuzzy pom pom. <laughs> so you could put that on one of its ears. Oh, there you go. It's cute. Okay, next one I'm going to show you is a Christmas tree, and it has a lots of bright and colorful ornaments. We have red, yellow, blue, orange, all kinds of garland. Oh, there's a pink ornament. I like the little Christmas tree one. It's awesome. Cute. All right, I have a gingerbread cookie. Now it's special because it's a peppermint gingerbread cookie or gingerbread dunny. So it has peppermints for eyes and the buttons. Very cute. This one is like heavy. Oh, what does it say? It says Santa was here oh, on cute. the back of it. So it's like a Christmas cookie. It should be missing a bite out of it. Should be. <laughs> okay, I'm actually gonna move him over here. 
And the last one I have to show you is this cute little Santa dunny. He has that big bushy beard and mustache. I like his little Santa jammies. And it says, he is always watching on the back. <laughs> Just like Roz Just from like Monster Roz. Sink. Always yep. watching. Yep. And he has a cute little Santa hat. Just <laughs> like the elf. You can put it there yeah. or... I like the idea of sticking it on <laughs> one ear. All right. And last but not least, we have a snowman. This is the happy face snowman. He has a little happy face there. Although he has some sharp teeth. Yes. And I like his little scarf. So uh, that's very cute. So uh, there are the 12 to days of Christmas. Thank you one more time to Kid Robot for sending us this awesome Christmas present. I'm not exactly sure if we got the naughty or nice box. I'm going to say that we got a combo because yeah, they know so. one of us is naughty and one of us is nice. That's right. There's my dunny <laughs> right there. We're going to pick our favorite dunny. Okay, our favorite dunny. Enjoy I have to go with the Yeti. The Yeti. Yep. All right, so that's you and I right there. <laughs> You're the lump of coal and I'm a Yeti? That's right. Mm -hmm. Well, How? if we're naughty and nice, I can't be the Yeti. Well, maybe it's a nice Yeti. Yeah, it's a nice Yeti. Okay, a it's yeti. a nice Yeti. How about you guys? Which one of these did you like the best? Leave a comment down below. Let us know. Leave the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit the share button. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. That's going to make you part of the PS Toy Reviews crew, where some of the artwork in the Metropolitan Modern Museum of Art is beautiful, but looks like color palettes from Charlotte Williams stuck together. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.